If you're going to get very young students to make maps, it is best, obviously, to give them, ask them to make it of something they know well. One of my favourites is draw a map of your bedroom or your kitchen at home. Uh, you can do the classroom because you've got it right in front of you, but drawing something at home means that you've got to call it back to mind. You're not at home when you're drawing it, you're in the classroom, so you've got to bring it to mind in order to put it to paper. So what happens here is that kids, if you ask them to draw something they're very familiar with, they can map it. You have to talk to them a bit about, well, we are looking from a different point of view here. We are going to be, as it were, we are, think of yourself as a giant looking down, and this is a glass ceiling, and we're looking down, okay? Get them to understand the orientation. But when they are drawing something which they cannot see, they need to be very familiar with it. So the bedroom or the kitchen was one example. But in this case, Lily, who is, in, who is five, not, not six years old, less than six years old, came up to her teacher and said, would you mind awfully if I drew a map of my entire house? Uh,